everyone, it's Maddie, long time no see. Unknowingly and not purposefully, I went on about a month and a half long hiatus and I did not mean to do that at all. Recently, because of school, I'm in all honors classes and I'm on the volleyball team, I have not been able to find time to film until now, so I should be back for a little while unless school gets a little crazy again. But I've found time to film today, so I'm filming lots of things. Because it's considered fall in most parts of the world, today I've decided to do the fall time cozy time tag. I was tagged by Andrea from Little Yellow Bookshop, so I will link her and the original video down below. You should go subscribe to Andrea. She's pretty fabulous. Going along with the title of this tag, I decided to wear a sweater, even though it's not really the weather to wear a sweater right now. We've been in 90 degrees since about May. Now it's October, so we're sort of in that like 70 to 80 range, so it's cooler, but it's not sweater weather yet. And that hurts because sweater weather is the favorite kind of weather. Crunching Leaves, The World is Full of Color, choose a book that has reds, oranges, and yellows on it. The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This has orangey, yellow, reds on it. Look at the back. It's all red. I haven't read this book yet. Plan on it, but lots of books happen, and this is not on top priority list yet. If you've read it and like it, tell me down below. I've read other Rick Riordan books, and I loved them, but there are other series that are top priority, and not so much this one. Cozy Sweater. It's finally cool enough to don some warm, cozy clothing. What book gives you the warm fuzzies. And then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This book gives me all the warm fuzzies inside. I love it so very much and not just because of the swoon-worthy romance in it but also because of the swoon-worthy setting. Paris, France. Oh how I desire to go there and to Europe. The way Stephanie Perkins describes everything is just so beautiful and it makes me want to go even more. Warm fuzzies. Oh. Fall Storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre that you'd like to read on a stormy day. I don't have any specific books that I like to read on a stormy day, but I like to read pick-me-up books on stormy days because, you know, stormy days are kind of depressing and you're stuck indoors even though I don't really go outside much. Better Off Friends by Elizabeth Ewellberg. This, like Anna and the French Kiss, gives me the warm fuzzies inside. Rainstorms here last a good while, so I could probably read indoors while like the four hour rainstorm's happening, and I could finish this because I finished this on a car ride in about three hours because it's very, very short and precious, and I just, I love it so much. I'll link my book talk down below. Cool Crisp Air. What's the coolest character you want to trade places with? June I Paris from the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. Yes, their world kind of sucks because any dystopian world kind of sucks. But June is awesome. She's a kick butt main character and I love it so very much and also she gets day and that would mean that I would get day by default. I wouldn't mind. Hot Apple Cider. What underhyped book do you want to see become the next big thing? Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. This book is so good you guys. So flippin good. I flew through this. I can't wait until Salt and Stone, the sequel to this, comes out. Victoria Scott is a lovely person. I actually got to meet her at RT Book Lovers Convention. I have a review on this and our interview together. I'll link my review and our interview down below so you can see my more in-depth feelings on this book but just know it's so good. If the movie rights don't get picked up to this soon I'll be sad because this would be great to see in movie form. It's got like Pokemon things and action and a tad bit of romance. It's just so good. Go read it. Go read it. Coats, scarves, and mittens. The weather has gotten colder, so it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you would like to keep hidden in public? Is there any other answer for this besides Fifty Shades of Grey? Seriously, I don't own that. Don't intend to read it. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I have not read this book yet, but I plan on reading it this month because it's October and, you know, vampires, October, you know, they all go together. This cover is so bad. I don't even understand what the significance is. I mean, I get that that's probably the gates of the school. VA, Vampire Academy but bruh, I don't understand the face. I don't like face covers and the new covers to this are equally as bad. They just say VA and have different colors on them. And if you're gonna change the cover, make it better. The worst cover to cover things, the Lux series, those went from bad to worse. Those bind up covers are so ugly. I am so sorry, but whoever does the marketing strategy at Entangled Teen needs to realize that we don't want books with faces on them, especially ones that look where you've put too much blush on your cheek Bone. Pumpkin spice. What's your favorite fall time comfort food? I adore pumpkin pie, so pumpkin spice kind of goes with this. Every year for Thanksgiving, I probably eat like four slices of pumpkin pie. It's so good. Anything pumpkin. Pumpkin pop tarts, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin drinks. There's pumpkin spice frappuccinos at Starbucks right now. And I don't like coffee, but I get the frappuccinos without the coffee, and it's so good. Spread the warmth. Tag your friends. I'm going to tag Cassidy from Cassidy Von Shea, Grace from Loving Them Books, Katie from Vincent 
Vans Top and Divya from Divya Reads. Here, take the warmth. Take the virtual warmth and spread it around, do the tag, tag some others, and we'll have the fall time happiness, you know? I'm Maddie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!